mainland poultry who own woodland free-range eggs. Now, the vast majority of the eggs they sell are their own and are from their own free-range farms, but they did source some extra eggs from Palace Poultry. Its CEO, Michael Guthrie, says he had no misgivings about the extra eggs supplied to him by Palace until he was contacted by the Serious Fraud Office, exactly as Robert just described. He immediately cancelled his contract with Palace. Michael Guthrie from Mainland Poultry, who owns Woodland Eggs, spoke to us earlier. I've got to uh, be quite blunt here. We're we, uh, victim of uh, a very deliberate fraud uh, um, scam. Um, we have our own people uh, that, and your reporter on um, Campbell Live uh, would have seen that. We, we have people who go and audit any suppliers to us. We audit our own farms. Now, that's internally. We also... So they went to... Uh, palace as they go to these other farms um, there was nothing that we saw uh, untoward they signed uh, they also have to give us copies of their risk management programs which are audited by um, MPI so we that that is absolutely a must that we have a we carry a copy of that uh, and then we've got a declaration from them saying they were selling us free range eggs so we were going to get duped here by someone who uses a different name, buys through a middle entity, not even an egg farmer. They're going through a you know a, a distributor. Uh, the person evidently used a different name for himself. We you know we've been caught in a, a, a most elaborate scam. We, we, and we're paying, and we're paying for it. Yeah, we. I, I, I guess we don't know that yet, do we? Because, you know, innocent until proven guilty. So the investigation, and yeah. the investigation is still proceeding. No charges have been laid, and of course, That's no correct. one has been found guilty of anything. What did the SF, okay. did the SFO state to you as fact that you were being sold eggs that went free range? Was that stated as fact, or did they just say they were having an investigation into the possibility of that? They, that, that, that yes, they said that they were conducting right. an investigation. Okay. So uh, into fraudulent practices, I think was the word they used. I can't remember. Okay. What needs to happen now to make sure that the eggs that we believe, that you believe are free range are in fact free range? How do we get certainty around that? Right. As a company, we are going to, and we've been working on this for quite some time, and we've been trying to get the whole industry to do this, is to move to um, stamping the um, eggs at source. Well, you've been trying to get the whole industry to do this, Michael. Yes, we have. So, so you want to stamp at source? Absolutely. And the, there is reluctance from the industry, is there? Uh, no, I think it's just not as easy as it sounds. Uh, you know, you've got to have special sort of equipment, and you know, for, for some of these small guys, uh, it's a big outlay. And you know, um, you know, if they feel aggrieved by all of this, I don't blame them. Um, and we're trying to work out a way how we can get. Uh, you know, we can't make it mandatory, but we, you know, we want to see that happen. We're, we're definitely going to do it. Uh, come hell or high water, now uh, we're not going to wait for anybody else to do it. Um, I, I just, this is the worst day of my business life, John. That's Michael Guthrie from Mainland Poultry who own woodland free-range eggs.